I grew up in a small family of four members. The second I could start talking, I started singing, I started dancing, following the artists. And there are so many senior artists who used to come at our place, practicing music, dance and everything. And I don't know what is folk music, what is modern, what is pop, what is jazz, I don't know. I'm in love with music because we have this ensemble called Lai Hui, which means origin. My father is the artistic director uh, of this life. We. Since she born, she was with us all the time. And she learned him herself, not even from me. <laughs> she keeps playing the instrument and she becomes so fond of it. When I turned six years old, he took me to one of the best, best, best guru that I am blessed. Uh, her name is Langatil Thuinu. He is one of the pioneers of an art form called Mairangsai. Mairangsai is a traditional woman ballad. I sang one song, a very common song that is sung in a festival of Lai Harao, but that is sung in front of the deities. Jungulai o lai ning tho Kho yum lai o lai ning bi Yare yare! It means, stop, stop, stop! Okay, okay, she accept. After singing just two lines, you know, we have this Guru Shishya Parampara kind of stuff. We, we call it Oza uh, Bodhisattva. So on that day, I bowed her and like, I'll be your um, loyal student. I'll do whatever it takes. I still remember the first song she taught me is like, Krishna de Udhyanayani Krishna <laughs> Whenever I sit with her, she wants me to sing 100% perfect, like so that nobody can imitate me. But nobody's perfect. So she was telling me, she have have lots of songs to te to you know teach me, but she is now forgetting everything. She was she's very happy that you are you guys are coming, and she was like she's preparing song for you, but but she couldn't sing, and that makes me more emotional. Like oh my god, she is now getting older. She's no more the teacher that I have known for you know more than twenty years. <laughs> Actually, I'm not like this yet. Yeah. My guru, Langatil Toinu, she doesn't know how to read nor write, but everything she taught me was from her memory. I spent my vacation with her. I didn't hang out my, with my friends a lot. I had to compromise something, but music, learning from her, is making me like happy and it, I enjoy a lot. I was very happy when people say, ah, Manka, uh, uh, we heard you on the radio this morning. You are very good. And when I go to school, like I, I was a laughing stock because I sing all songs. But when it comes to Sunday, I forgot everything. I just went to learn music. And after that, 
um, I also wanted to learn dance. I enrolled to Govind, uh, Government Manipur Dance College called uh, Sri Sri Govind Zina Tralia Dance College. My father is also asking me like, you should also learn Pena because everything is connected. Dance, song, Pena, it's the whole body. Because my father is also a guru of Pena and I said, I can learn from you, no worries. But he said, no, I'm not going to teach you. I went to uh, was a Padmasri um, Awardee, Kangyemba Mangi. He's 100 plus. He loves this particular local fish. We call it porom. It looks like a steak. Ah, come. Mahani. Porom. Mahani. He remembers his fish name, but not me. Come on. Women were not allowed to play or um, uh, perform for rituals. It's a tradition, so of course I cannot break that. But as an instrument, I can't play that. Frankly, I don't want to play in rituals. I stood up like, why women cannot allow to play pena? Because on the first day, my, my guru told me that you are holding mother and father on your hand. One is maru, which is mother. One is chaising, which is father. So. The sound that you played by rubbing, it's the offsprings. So it tells the story of creation, humankind, everything. One of my colleagues, Arke Takeshuri, was, uh, <coughs> she was the one who took permission from the royal office that the women can play pena and sing pena, but not in the li uh, rituals. So that's how uh, all other uh, new pena learner got that kind of energy and they started this kind of revolutionary, revolting Pena's uh, performances. Apart from uh, Moirangsai, Baso, Ngansang, Kriptan and Pena, we have different varieties of art form, um, like Kongzom Parva. Kongzom Parva is a style of singing with a dhulak. Men performers, they were the pioneers, but very lately, women started playing the dhulak and started performing. I, I learned this art form from um, Guru Kumantem Sundari Devi. The first song he, she taught me, It's the uh, part of uh, Manipuri warriors marching towards the battlefield. She is Kuman Thim Sundari Devi and she is a very, very popular Hong Zhong Parva exponent and she took a major role on bringing up this particular art form. She pampers me a lot. You will never heard her calling me my name. She always <laughs> called me Twebi, the princess. Very lately, I met uh, one of the very eminent guru for Kunung Isei. Here I am with the queen of folk, Kunung Isei. She is a complete performance. She dance, she aches, at the same time she knows how to entertain lots of people. She's young. <laughs> she can still perform on stage, but um, when she saw me and her students perform, then she's like, okay, this is what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the music that I learned from here, just with the small, small, uh, you know, learnings from dif 
different gurus and from different communities. Step by step, I finished my graduation in English, my master in sociology. <laughs> We started this uh, play pena free classes since 2012 and then by the time only very few children appeared but gradually more and more children came up and uh, very tactically Manka could handle them very easily. I always say that by my biggest achievement in my life till now is that I have so many children. <laughs> The very first time I saw Chimanka was on TV and from that moment onward I was like wow <laughs> like she sings so well. I came to my guru, which is uh, Ozamanka, and started learning from there. I have started learning from Chemanka since the age of five. My father really, really, really loved folk songs. I was so confused. I never knew what folk, folk song was. <laughs> and I really love the company of Chemanka. She is a great teacher. And I am very grateful for my father for doing this for me. And I asked her, what is your aim? And she was, I want to be a doctor. And I was like, that's great, a doctor, a singer, that's good, yeah. But yeah. My aim it is like, it's not to become a perfect artist. I want to travel the world, I want to meet new artists, I want to meet children from all over the world and share my music. My father, my guru always say that um, in Manipuri, it means put a soul into your song. I always, 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 always keep all my gurus inside my heart, inside my body. I pray to them inside and, you know, I, I, I perform. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,